you are about to witness history in the making. Welcome, you're watching the thrift store rundown where we read Hollywood home on a budget. You know, with all the nonsense that's going on across America these days, we almost seem to forget to take comfort in the little things in life. The little things that go on and continue to endure. Like for example, today is Labor Day in America, a holiday that endures. A chance to unwind, rest, relax, and take a load off. And hopefully find somebody to do so with. And at long last, I found that someone. Punky Brewster! That's right, after months of ratchet poetic about the actress who gave her life, love, and soul, I finally have her in my home. Well, in the context of a DVD, anyway. Peacock, you might be able to cancel Punky's show, but you can never, and will never, cancel her spirit. So richly unleashed, in what I like to call a Punky Booster starter pack. The first eight episodes of the first full season of the three-time Emmy-nominated OG Punky. In this Mill Creek Entertainment release, which I picked up for $2.49, I took the price tag off because I think it's high time we unleashed Punky in all of her colorful glory. Punky Power lives on in the very first episode from the hit TV show. Soleil Moonfire stars as the abandoned little girl with an indomitable spirit, who was a dog Brandon, named after NPC programming chief Brandon Tartikoff, who named the show after a girl he had a crush on, Peyton Punky Brewster. Punky's first name in the show, Penelope, although she doesn't like that. Both of them bring laughter into the life of a grumpy old photographer named Henry, played by the late George James of Police Academy fame, mind you. Both a touchy portrait of a makeshift family and a joyful ride through her childhood adventures, Punky Booster was a 1980s benchmark in fun, innocent television for kids. So take a trip down memory lane, or see it again through the eyes of your own children. These are the eight episodes. The three-part series premiere, Punky Finds a Home, Lost and Found, Punky Gets Her Own Room, Walk Pool, Gone Fishing, Take Me Out to the Ball Game, Parents Night, Go to Sleep, and A Visit to the Doctor. Now you might think that's more than 8 episodes, but trust me, these are 8 episodes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Early on, producers decided to make 6 15 minute episodes of Punky so as not to disappoint children who would be enduring the long, long football games on Sundays so that they could watch Punky, their hero. Smart move. Kind of like those 11-minute cartoon interstitials we see nowadays. All these episodes combined are an approximate running time of 3.3 hours. Licensed by the South Factory and, of course, NBC Universal. I have to say one thing about Punky Brewster. I believe it's one of the precursors to those Disney Channel sitcoms that we see nowadays aimed towards families. I would classify this in percentages as 85% sitcom, 15% after school special, given its simplistic storylines and even more simplistic storytelling. That said, there's something honorable about children's sitcoms making it to prime time, at least in Punky's case for two seasons, that solidifies Punky's legacy. And if you ask Soleil, so wax poetic about Punky for hours on end, to the point where you might be, uh, you might be thinking, wow, she so make a good candidate for being a uh, Pulitzer Prize winner. 
all that said, Punky Booster has a very colorful legacy that will never be mod. And I gotta give this because it did play well, even though it's not my tea necessarily. Uh, four and a half out of five claps. I'm not into multi camera sitcoms that much. But you know what? For the kids, I'll take one for the little league team. And give Punky Booster a well deserved proper debut on TSR in the hopes that she'll continue to make everyone else's worlds a little more colorful. Speaking of which, let me round up the rest of the items in my Sub the Soleil Moon Fry and come right back. I wish I could take credit for that one, but American Dad beat me to it. Right now, we're going to revisit three of the items that I've already reviewed on this channel, but have one common denominator going for them, which I haven't featured in any of those reviews. They all have a mention of the newest love of my life, Soleil Moon Fly, which in English translation would mean sun. Soleil means sun in French. We start here with Melissa Explains It All by her longtime bestie Melissa Zone Hot, Clarissa, Sabrina, Melissa, you get the drift. It was Sabrina, by the way, where she and Soleil began walking together. Soleil played Watsy Kane, a street smart student with a real goth-like personality. Oh, Soleil was hot. You'll find her alongside Melissa in this photo in the follow in set. My longtime girlfriend, Soleil Moonfy, and me stirring up trouble as usual. Trouble, trouble, toil and trouble. <sighs> this is good trouble at its absolute finest. We got two issues of People Magazine here, actually one issue and one special collector's book. For the standard issue, people, which I reviewed as part of a Bachelor series, hence why Juan Pablo and Nikki are on the cover, I am not the bad guy. Okay, you're not a bad guy, Juan Pablo. Billy Eilish would agree with me, but you certainly made one of the worst Bachelors in franchise history. But forget all that, this is what's important now. Look at this. An exclusive one-page feature detailing the birth of her first son, Lyric Sunny Gold Goldberg, and a transition back to diaper duty, made it a little more easier with the assistance of big sisters, Poet and Jagger. Poet and Jagger, who aspires to be an actress just like her mom. In fact, Soleil says that she shares the same qualities and style and, as a character, as Punky. She always wanted a big family. And we, with the addition of lyric and uh, story, she got one. Mommy Joy, Soleil Moon Fi is basking the new baby Bliss and shares the first photo of her son with people in this exclusive feature. I am on the lookout for her book Happy Chaos and when I find it, Soleil, you know I'm going to review it and gush about it to no tomorrow. One last feature. Celebrate the 80s. This was before the boys came into town. Kids then, parents now. All grown up, Soleil Moon Fi and other child stars of the 80s explore the wonder years of parenthood. In brief, she describes what it felt like to have poet in her life for the first time. It was like, quote, her eyes were open for the first time. That's what the motherhood effect will do to you. She's printed alongside Little Jagger, eight months old. Pulled for spree at the time. I have to say, Poet and Jagger and Lyric and Story are in good hands. Because Soleil is a woman of enormous character, grace, wisdom, and insight. Not to mention, at least in my opinion, she is one of the very definitions of the term hot mama. I mean, Soleil is hot. Do not get me wrong, she is hot. Well, Punky, it's been a long time coming. By the way, all three of these reviews will be linked in the description below. Uh, these two I've done to the best of my ability. Melissa explains it all in People Magazine. This might be redone in the future. People celebrate the 80s. I'll let you know. But in the meantime, again, all three of these reviews will be linked in the description below. And you'll also find links in those descriptions 
to find these items online. But in the meantime, you know Soleil said that the fans have anything to do about it, Punky Booster will find a new home? Well, I'm proud to say, Soleil, that she has found a new home. In my home. Welcome home, Punky Booster! I'm proud to be your Henry. Soleil, I would have been even more proud to be your Jason, or now your Seth, but that's another story. I love you, Soleil Moon 5. You are a definite ray of sunshine. You guys have a happy Labor Day, and thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the flip side. I'm Punky Booster, and this is my pal, Brandon. We're orphans, but not for long. This is Henry, and we're going to adopt him. I got it all figured out. <laughs> you know, haven't even learned how to match your shoes yet. I have two different feet. Why should I wear two different shoes? <laughs> but Tansy's a big old pickle puss. You washed my pipe. <laughs> Won't be easy, but I'll straighten him out. I mean. I like him. You do? I know. I must be nuts. And this fall, you'll be crazy too over Punky Brewster, America's newest little sweetheart. Yeah.